Hey everybody, it's Chris from Tipton and Hurst, and today's Happy is actually going to be using some lavender roses. Let me show you these. These are actually called Cool Water. A, little, a few green hydrangeas. Another spray rose we're going to use today is called Little Silver. It's a, in the shade, same shade as the lavender, so that's going to be like coming to that. We're going to use a little eucalyptus seeded, some china berry, which I love china berry. It's just now starting to come into season some cottage yarrow, some alium, a few pieces of purple stock, and then just a few zinnias. We have those colors. So the main trick today I wanted to show you was that actually, you know, so many times we love to use Oasis rings, but sometimes they can be a little bit more expensive. So what you might want to do, especially in this situation, because we're going to put something in the middle of this, we just took a loamy tray and then we take dry foam, just like this, and then I cut it into pieces, like all the way down. And then I recut it again, cut it like that, like this. So then I take my glue pan, which you've seen me use the glue pan before, the, the electric scale has the, the pellet glue in it. I dip it in while it's still dry, and I put it in a dry surface, and I make my ring all the way around. So once the glue dries, to the foam, which it goes pretty fast, then you can soak the whole thing and make it into an oasis ring inside the stitch. The great thing about this, it still leaves a, the, in the middle open, you can still put your, your water in there and then you can still have the foam to work with. So let me get rid of that real quick. So first off, what we want to do is we're going to take a couple pieces of ivy. Oh, how is everybody today and happy, the happy family doing today? We have lots of happy people. We have friends from North Carolina, California, Mississippi, Arkansas, Indiana, awesome. Alabama. Cool. Well, South we have Carolina. already had a very busy morning. Oh, goodness, have we? First. <laughs> we have done two photo shoots. That's what Miss Bonnie <laughs> just said. Happy day in black shirt day. Yeah, happy black. It's a black day. It's a black day for sure. And I just realized I didn't have one of my other shirts down here to change into. So you're going to get black today, whether you like it or not, huh? So we've done a, two photo shoots. And then we've also done an instant. We started an installation downtown, which we'll show you once we get it finished. And we have to go back and finish it once we finish our happy. So I'm going back and just making a ring of the, of the ivy around the perimeter before I get started. And this more or less is just to actually cover the mechanics. And, and you didn't mention that the photo shoot and the installation are all outside. All outside. <laughs> They're all outside. So we definitely glad you don't have smell vision right now. <laughs> that, that is true. <laughs> we are glad we don't have smell vision and wet vision. I called my sister uh, earlier and I was like, I may need you to bring me a new set oh of clothes and yeah. lunch. Uh, I definitely Ooh, had to get a new mask today because yes. my other mask was absolutely drenched. It was gross. So anyway, so I'll hold this up. I'm going to put one more piece in there and I'll hold this up for you so you can see kind of the direction that we're going with. So we're going everything out to the outside edge and I'm making everything go back into the foam for stability. But once you get there, you actually can add a few pieces here and there. Go from that. So now let's go back and add just a few pieces of the eucalyptus. And I'm going to actually take these longer petals off, the longer leaves off. I really just want these clusters of seeds. Miss Melinda said, we are happy. She loved the arrangement this morning on Channel 7. Oops, Melinda. <laughs> Melinda went down today. Yeah, almost. Melinda went down today. We, and we actually went over time on that, and I was hoping we asked the producer to edit it, but I guess they couldn't edit the, the tape. So, Melinda, I'm sorry I knocked you. Of course, Melinda's so used to me. I've, I've like cut her toe, I've dropped a knife on her toe before. I've, I've caught sticks in her hair. I've almost caught her on fire one. I mean, there's not hardly anything that she hasn't been through. So, so today's thing where we did the, the video for, she would be very, she'd feel very at home, basically, so forgot to send her that so she could see it firsthand for she just saw it on live <laughs> on <there. laughs> but oh well we oh have friends my goodness from Kentucky Tennessee Connecticut North Carolina Canada New Zealand Minnesota oh cool. 
Well, I wish y'all were here to go back with me to finish up this job outside. Oh, man. <laughs> Someone asked, do we ever do lives on wedding arches? Um, we can do that. Uh, we just won't be doing it on location because we haven't had good luck doing that. You know, I actually thought about doing that upstairs, you know, get, I'm getting ready to redo the front arch walking into the store. Oh, yeah, we can do that because you're about that. to do it. Yeah, but I, we'll have to make sure we kind of corral people. I guess people could come and go in and out of it anyway, huh? Yeah. Oh, well. Oh, well. But I did think about doing that. On we're the fly, we're our, always live. We're, we're all getting ready to do the fall part of that. So what is the name of the um, Purple Rose again? Cool Water. At least that's what Frida told me. I <laughs> always get the Cool Water and Ocean Song mixed, mixed They're up. They're very, so. very close. So now we're going to take our hydrangea and actually you're just going to cut all these floralettes apart. You're going to spread that color out. And you also want to angle the hydrangea out. So Anastasia asked, how did you get started doing a segment on TV? Um, I've been doing it for, I'm um, one of the original um, live weekly guests that they have. So I've been doing it for, I guess, 20, over 20 years. Um, they just called and asked if I would come and do f something about fresh flowers. And apparently people enjoyed watching my haphazardness, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, and so we've been a regular on Channel 7 on Good Morning Arkansas ever since. I'm always on Tuesdays, um, normally around 925. Um, and we have... We've been very blessed to have several people that enjoy watching and want to know where we are. And that's actually one of the reasons why we started the Happies is because we weren't on on air anymore because they quit doing, as you can tell on like Good Morning America and everywhere else, they no longer have live segments where they have people in the actual studio. So what they did is they went back and started doing, for us, we started doing videos instead of doing uh, Skyping because that worked out better in this situation. So, so now, someone asked, what dish channel is it and what time? It's KATV. It's an ABC affiliate, and it's always on Tuesdays when I'm on, and then uh, normally around 925. But it's called Good Morning Arkansas. So someone asked, oops, where did it go? Oh, what will this sit in? Um, this actually sits flat on, the, flat on the table. I'm gonna show you a little trick when we finish. You gotta wait for that. Okay, suspense. Suspense, very, very suspenseful. The great thing about lavender roses is that they're truly lavender, a lavender color. The bad thing is that for me, this is one of the most bruising, easily bruised rose there is. Uh, uh, my daughter has always loved purple. So anytime something happens special, like cotillion or any kind of, you know, dance that she was in we always got lavender roses for her the sad part about it is by the end of the evening they looked like they'd been pulled through a knot hole backwards basically because they brew so easy that people that love lavender love lavender roses or cool water this is just a different variety so someone said would is there a way for them to watch um you on tv if they live in texas yeah i think you can go online um and just Put in uh, KTV, WW, or the K -A -TV, K -A -TV, K -A TV Arkansas. Arkansas. Now it would come up, but sometimes they don't always post his segment. Well, it's on there, well, you but you can watch live. live. You can yeah, watch you can live. watch live. But they used but to. But after the fact, sometimes. After they the don't. fact, they used to go back and post the segments, and they would live on that, on that mm -hmm. Facebook or that page, that website for a month or so, then they would take them, rotate them out. But um, but you definitely can watch live. Miss Joyce asks, is there a lavender rose by the name of Lady X? Uh, not familiar with it, but that doesn't mean anything because I really don't keep up with the titles of roses like I used to because Miss Frida takes care of that all for, all for me now. So. so we have two people asking, why do you take that outside of the rose petals off? This is the guard petal. And it's like, um, it would be like looking at an onion it's the outside of the onion basically you always take or the outside of a head of lettuce or cabbage it's always normally it gets bruised or it uh, matures faster meaning it looks like this and so i clean those roses up 
because you want them to be have the prettiest petals, basically. So we have lots of people saying, a knot hole backwards. A knot hole backwards. Are his technical knot term hole backwards. Uh, Y'all all know what that means. Don't act like you don't. So anyway. So someone said, will you please do a tropical arrangement? We we have done tropical arrangements. Um, we haven't in a while. We need we to do in a one, while. though. Yeah. So now I'm going back and putting in the alien. And before the alien, we've always used the length of it. But today, since we're doing something more compact, we're actually going to use it like a filler. So someone said their favorite rose is sterling silver. That's another lavender rose. Lavender color, let me put it that way. So then I'm going to put it in the inside edge of this. Now you don't have to worry too much about so much the inside because I'll show you at the end why you don't have to worry so much about it. But what you definitely want to do is you want to make sure that this comes out over the lip of the container. So now we're going to go back and see all these guard petals. We have to really clean these up really fast. Now what's that rose called? This is called Little Silver. And it's just a lighter shade of lavender. Someone said, can we do a beach arrangement? That may be fun. Yeah, we might. Beach E, Beach E arrangement. I'm gonna just pop a little bit of this color through here. I'm also going to make sure that I don't have these spray roses all the way into the arrangement. I like level with the rest of the hydrangea and the roses. It'll give it more depth. Miss Janie said, there he is, the hardest working florist <laughs> around. <laughs> Someone said, that. Um, could you possibly show us an up close of your special knife? Yeah, it's not special. It's just a really cheap, inexpensive paring knife. People always ask. And trust me, y'all, he loses. Like on, uh, on uh, shoot today, he was like, I don't have my knife. And oh I said, my gosh. Well, you I know, I don't one. You lose them when I normally have like my red handle folding knife, like a Swiss, you know, those knockoff Swiss Army knives that we have at the store. But I found so many times <laughs> it's just easier to get one of these than because once I lose it, then I've got to find another knife. So we have oh. someone ask, where is Bonnie Five today? And everyone is laughing and asking. <laughs> Isn't it a pretty day outside today? It is. It's what a, beautiful a pretty day. day. It's a beautiful day. Someone said that, um, like, to do the beach arrangement to, like, incorporate shells. Yeah, that would yeah, be fun. Yeah, that would be really Super fun. Super fun. And, you know, we have those cool containers up in the front left. Yeah, we could do that again. We'll just revisit that and give mm -hmm. it a different twist. We yeah. could do tropical with it. Definitely. That'll be Look another idea. That. Hey, we've already caught, we've already solved another day's See? mystery. Oh, man. Because it's always a mystery here every day going, like, what are we going to do today? Oh, my stars and stripes. So, anyway. Miss Bonnie said, so talented and very beautiful. Oh, thank you. So the, the Everyone is loving these colors. Oh, good. Good, good, good. I can't wait to see the cake on top. Well, there you go. So, I'm going to add one more stem of spray roses. So, if you ever really looked at this, there's not that many flowers in this situation like you would think. We're just doing a lot of layering. Miss Edwina said that there are several students at Mississippi State University that are taking floral designing and they're going to start watching your lives. Well, actually, I've been to Mississippi State before, believe it or not. Tread lightly, to, though. Tread to, lightly. Uh, well, hey, it is what it is. They have a wonderful school system there on the floral. And they have you get your degree. And I've been there and done... Uh, I, AFDs had like their Southern Symposium there once, and I went and did the um, flowers for the lunch for the dinner that night. Mm. Except I kind of snuck in a little bit of Razorback stuff into the situation. To, well, I was uh, on this, so <laughs> well, that would not be working very well for me. Hey, you know what? You always got to keep it light, you know? So, anyway. <laughs> People love when you make the clicking sound. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway. It was fun. Everyone's saying that this is beautiful. It was fun, fun, fun. So let's keep rolling this around for you. Uh, someone said, go MSU dogs. Uh, do, do you have to tell them what you are? You're a... I'm a I'm rebel. A, she's a rebel. I went she to Ole Miss. So how long will this arrangement hold up? Uh, probably a long time because what you'd want to do once you finish, we would go back and fill it with water. So let me... 
Oh, so we have nice. lots of people saying they're so excited for the beach arrangements. Oh, good. Well, we can do that. You know, I always fret about if we're doing enough or we're doing a night, or, you know, uh, because we kind of gear off how many views people are watching and how many comments we get, whether, because that's how we can tell people like something or not. So we never really know. So, Miss Ginger, who I went to the UPS store today, she's getting a package. But how is the planning of our remote classes coming along? Um, very slow at the point, and then let, let me explain why. Yeah, that's great. Let's explain. There's a huge flower shortage right now, meaning that we're having trouble finding product like still. And the reason why is because after Mother's Day, they'd already cut back during Mother's Day all the product. I mean, before Mother's Day, thinking that it wasn't going to be that big of a holiday, which it turned out to be huge because no one could get out, so everyone sent flowers to their mom or had them delivered because, you know, the virus. No one could get it around. So now, the major problem is like in California and also in South America, is that the virus has struck the workers. So there's nobody really out in those, out in the farms because most of our flower, all the flowers are still hand-picked, believe it or not. So there's no one to cut the product. And if they can't cut the product, they have to kind of bulldoze the whole crop and start all over again. So that's been the major dilemma. So we're trying, long and short of it, we're working on trying to find the boxes, someone to, to make the boxes for us, because they'll have to come from the farm directly to make them where they're affordable. And that has been our dilemma. But we're still working on it. We haven't given up. Don't think we've given up on it. We've just got to get our supply, I mean, our supply chain in order to do it with. So, Miss Sandy's my friend. She said, hotty toddy, her son and daughter-in-law are almost alone. And we have lots of Roll Tide on here today, well, too. Well, we won't hold against any of y'all, so. Oh, Miss Martha had a good idea. We could do some tailgate arrangements. Oh, yeah, for sure. Even though there's not going to be any games, sounds like. <laughs> well, maybe people we will have watch parties and social own. distance. Yeah, exactly. Well, you know, I know that some of the, our smaller league schools or smaller size schools have pushed their football season back till January. Like you, UAPB, they're not gonna do it now. They're gonna wait till January to do theirs. So mm -hmm. anyway. Miss Melinda said this is gorgeous and she got her some, a package coming her way too. Oh, good. So here's where we are. So this would be what you would use and you could use this for anything. So there we are. Beautiful. So we would fill that with water. Now we would go back now this is a fake cake. It's hard. Generally, I would be able to stick flowers in this. There's no sticking anything in there. You could have acted like I baked that. Well, you were taking credit for it. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so you're just gonna set that right into there. Actually, you know what? That is too low. So what I'm gonna have to do now. Improvise. Improvise. So um, Miss Rhonda wanted me to tell you that they've canceled the Rose Parade. parade. I knew they'd canceled the Rose Parade. I have several friends, floral friends, that they look so, and I feel so bad for them, they look so forward to going to that because they all get to go work on the parades. I've actually never been because I've always been working on other things at market and stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to go back and fill this in real quickly just to cover the mechanics. So Miss uh, Mary asked, did she miss uh, the name of all the flowers? Um, he did that probably about 20 seconds in, so, yeah. um, you know, you can definitely go back and rewatch. He did say all of the names. So I'm going to do, I'm going to show you a quick trick. Hang on, I got a few roses down here. If you ever get into a bind. Like right now? Like I'm in right now. <laughs> you shut up. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway we're going to take one rose petal. And here's a trick for you, because you always get into a bind too. Some yes, places. I do. Miss Thing. Mm-hmm. And you just take these rose petals and fill in there. See how this covers all that up? Look at that. Look at that. Da, 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 da. Like Here, it I'll was go planned. Over so they can see. <laughs> I'll hold it down for you. So cool. So cool. Just remember it when you call and say, I'm out of roses. What am I going to do? You know what? Okay. I have to do it in Hot Springs this well, weekend. So well, I needed to learn this. Well, there you go. So then your cake would go just like that. And then we would might take like a piece or two of ivy which we're gonna have to really improvise stick it in there right 
That's true. Oops. They said, what a great trick. And then we would take this, this row is really a scene better days, but I'm going to go ahead and pull it back for you. Guy said he got to work on the float in 1988. Wow. That's awesome. You know, AFD has so many people that are so involved in that, that actually design the floats. Um, Jim Hyde has been a major contributor to the Rose Parade for years and designs, still designs most, a lot of them. And they've won so many awards over the years. And so many people have gotten to be involved in it. So we have lots of people that love this. Okay, good. Kind of makes so, me want some cake. Well, uh, what flavor are you today? The other day <laughs> it was supposed to be vanilla and you wanted chocolate. You so. know what? I ate that vanilla okay. and it was perfect. Okay, anyway. So let's see if we can spin those out, spinning it off. But oh well. Oh, that's kind of weird. Let's go and put that up here. You know, that's kind of like, what was I thinking? Anyway, a lot of times what we'll do now is we'll do like waterfalls of flowers down the front of the cake. But anyway, there we go. I got to show two tricks today. Look at that. Using those petals at the end. Look at your trick. You have tricks up your sleeve. Yeah, all the time. So now back out to the heat. We're going to go back. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. You're welcome. So we're going to go back out and finish this job. And then we will see you tomorrow. We hope you've enjoyed today's happy. I hope you're all safe and please have a blessed evening and take care of yourself and we'll see you tomorrow. And like I always say, if you know someone that don't know about it, share it. They'll enjoy it. I hope, hopefully they'll enjoy it and want to be a part of our happy family. So anyway, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for joining us and we'll get to work on that tropical arrangement, I guess. Yes, Thanks. we will. All right. Bye.